Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, my friends, welcome. Uh, I'd like to say a big uh, hello to all my new subscribers, I hope you are well. Uh, Mr. Donaldson, I've been chatting to you today, very, very interesting to speak to you, Scott Donaldson. And also to my latest subscriber, which is... Um, Rob Sheardown. So hello Rob, how are you? I know you, you live across the way from me. <laughs> so a big hello to Rob and to um, Scott Donaldson. So I hope you guys are okay today. So I'm going to do a video on my absolute favorite vacuum. This is what I'd say is my desert island vacuum or one of them, but this is the top one. If I had to race in to save one of them, it would be this one and I don't know why I don't know anybody well actually I do know somebody whose mum had one but I never saw it but I really really do like this it is very very 80s it is very very just I don't know I just really really like it and I love the sound as well when it's running and it does such a good job so of course this is the Hoover Turbo Master. Now this was made in the UK, this is a British made, but it wasn't actually sold in the UK, it came over from Germany, that's where I bought it. And it is in immaculate condition, I mean absolutely immaculate. It's in this Cotswold beige, it's got its, all its tools, everything is immaculate, they're in excellent condition. Um, I really, really do like it. I'm gonna leave that there because it's gonna stop. It's going to stop the uh, brushes from going a bit flat there. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. It is complete. It has all its tools on the side, everything. So what we're going to do is let me bring you a little bit closer and we'll take a little look at this Turbo Master. Okay, so here we are. We are a bit closer now looking at the Turbo Master. There are loads and loads of videos on YouTube regarding the Turbo Master. Um, so this is just my one, my little interpretation of it. So it has a fantastic look to it, all in Cotswold beige. It's got these indicators on the top for the height. These are not electronic. There is just a bulb underneath here. And then there's like a plastic cover. So as you move the height, it just illuminates from the light bulb certain height levels of it. If we look at the side here, this is for tools. So that brings it over so that there's no suction coming from the head. It just comes through the, through the pipe. There is also a clutch switch on it for hard floors and for carpets. If you flick that over like that, then it will go onto hard floors and the brush roll will not turn. Push it again and then it goes back onto carpets and then that will engage the brush roll. I've got the information here. So there is the Hoover model U5096, 500 watt, 600 watt maximum because it's got a variable speed. Uh, serial number U5096901. 05228 and yeah made by Hoover Great Britain doesn't actually say where I'm not exactly sure where these were made right so oh, one of the tools has come off on the top here you can't see let me just lift you up there we go so we have a minimum and maximum for the motor speed. It has got a bag check indicator and it's got a thing here for the air freshener. If I release the door, the door comes off. There's a compartment in there. That's where you put the air freshener. That's one that I've put in and it still smells nice. I have upgraded this to a fleecy bag, a H20 bag for it. That fits in there very, very well. Here we've got the cord rewind, because this is an upright vacuum where the cord rewinds and sits in the inside it. It does take up a big chunk of the um, bag compartment. It's not, a it's not a sealed system, so it's not amazing on suction. So I'm just going to pop the door back on. There we go. Turn it around. 
Now on the lower models, it's got. I think this must have been for a cord hook uh, for the cheaper models, but uh, it's just a blanking piece of uh, uh, there. Uh, moving further up, we've got the tools on board. They fit in there, and actually it should fit this way, but it does seem to squash it a little bit. I don't know. And here we have the cord. Not a super long cord, but the flex on it works very, very well. Dusting brush here, crevice tool and upholstery tool. And it's got a little velour litter picker. Pop that back on. Turn it to the side. This is where we got the onboard hose. So what you just do is flick the switch over at the bottom to tools mode. Pull out this. And here you have a wand. It's a single wand. It's not a double wand. And there you can do a little bit of your dusting and stuff as well, which I find very, very handy. This vacuum is in immaculate condition. It's got a little bit of a lean, but not too bad. And everything on it works really well. There we go. So, I think the best thing we can do is to get this on the floor. I'll get the camera on it so you can see it in action. And uh, let's give it a demo. Okay, so I've got you attached to the Turbo Master. I'm just going to pull out the cord. Not a very long cord, I have to say. Right, got you plugged in. Let me just check the height. Yes, it's fine. Okay, I hope this doesn't vibrate too much. So the on and off switch is on the handle.
complete idiot. I didn't have it on brush roll. I'd left it <laughs> on floor tools. What an idiot. Oh my God. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> right, I've put it back as a brush roll. <laughs> right, let's try again. <laughs>
Okay, so I just need to do a little bit of dusting. I noticed some dust on there. So, switch it on. machine and pop the plug back in so there we go I still got this attached because I got the other ones to do as well so let's crack on okay I've moved it down let's take out the cord is the pitch tone change. Roger mentioned this in his channel and I basically and I agree I love the pitch tone change. Listen. <laughs> So basically, when you put it in the upright position, the brush roll stops automatically, and I love that. Okay, let's crack on.
it. The cord's a little bit short on it. <coughs> so I'm going to have to plug it back in. In here. That's the only thing with it. The cord is very, very short.
we go. Cord wound up, let's go down. Okay, downstairs. so we're down in the living room.
Um, I've had to move that to a more centralised plug socket in the kitchen because it doesn't reach over to the other side of the room. Right. <laughs> as well as carpets. It's very, very easy just to do the flick of the switch to turn it on and off. Tools here, very, very easy. It's full of static electricity. I can feel it as I rub my hand over it. <laughs> There's a lot of static on it, uh, which attracts dust. So I'll have to give it a little dust over before I finish. Right, so let's take this thing off the handle and uh, wrap up the video. So there we go, my little whippersnappers. This is the whole house demo using my Turbo Master, my favorite machine. I do absolutely love it. Uh, unfortunately, my carpets, apart from the really shaggy rugs, they don't really show carpet marks up very well. It's not a, th a deep pile carpet. Um, so you can't really see the track marks that it makes, but it does actually make track marks, even on that short pile carpet, which is a bit of a miracle. So it really does do a good job. I really do like it and uh, yeah. It very much reminds me of an Austin Montego, that kind of like squarish shape to it. It's very British car design. Um, I know that these were reported out to the States and I've recently seen some videos on them, but they were slightly different um, in design and things. They, they were different. This was exported over to Germany and as far as I can see is exactly the same as what the ones that were in the UK, um, apart from the obviously it doesn't have the royal appointment of Queenie on it, the badge of Madge and the um, what you call sticker will be slightly different for export as well, the information sticker. So I hope you've enjoyed me, uh, enjoyed watching me and uh, use this machine because I really do like it. 
I will feature it in some more videos in the future, but I do use it every now and then, but it's part of the collection, it's my most cherished one, I really do like it, I love the design as I've said, and the colour of it. So thank you very much for watching, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos, and uh, as of making this video today, we've just reached over 800 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really glad that uh, people are enjoying what I'm doing because I enjoy what I'm doing as well. So it does mean a lot when you guys comment and uh, subscribe to the channel as well. So thank you all very, very much. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.